go. Let's see what we got here. So, wow. So a lot of changes coming. Uh, this is, again, this game is from like two days ago. This is an absolute insane game. Like this is, this is just crazy. I'll show you the, uh, the OP.GG at the end with like damage and stuff. This game's absolutely nuts. Um, beast mode Warwick on the enemy team. We're going to pretty much see who, who the bigger beast is here in this game. Um, but yeah, a lot of changes coming. I, th I, I don't know when preseason starts, but some awesome things for the support. I don't have to go and buy uh, my fucking upgraded items anymore. Like, I don't have to go and buy the 500 gold and the... Uh, well, I never bought the third upgraded item, but you get them for free now. Let's see if we can dodge anything here. Let's see if she's going to throw a charm or anything. <laughs> I keep going. I think I was just trying to predict, like, a charm there. She's just... No, she's scared. Um, Are we going to go for a W? Get a little bit of gold here? No, we got the whole squad waiting, nothing. Um, but yeah, so a lot of really good changes coming. Oh, we're trying to get the W on the Ari. Okay, she doesn't fall for it. Man, I thought she was going to. Well, there was fog of war there. Um, but yeah, again, not having to, uh, uh, to buy this, the upgraded spell thief. Um, the Raptor's cloak, I guess, is gone. So I have no idea what I'm going to build. I still haven't even... It's going to take me a while. It's going to take me a long time to think of what I could even possibly replace that with. Um, I, what I'm thinking is that they'll just change enough things that I can't plan it now. Because what if they change like Relentless Hunter? You know what I mean? Like what if that goes to a different tree? Or what if um, Aftershock changes? So uh, they are changing Aftershock. So um, I cannot wait until preseason starts with some of the changes that I can start to plan a new build. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be really exciting. Um, it's going to be hard without that 20% movement speed around towers. Uh, but let's see what happens here. So we're going to lane. Senna is one of our favorite champions to verse. Arguably the number one champion to verse. Uh, my favorite previous to Senna was uh, Soraka. I, I think I have, I'm like like career. Or maybe I should say like last 50 times I've, I, I'm getting absolutely demolished. But I don't even know what Senna does. But she's so easy to beat. Like I just keep getting rooted. I don't know what by. Um... Soraka, I'm like 45 and no, even more. I'm like 48 and 2 against. Senna is even easier. I think Senna is the easiest champion in the game to verse for Alistair, especially with how I play. Senna wants to sit back, relax, and use her abilities. I run in and I kill her in like two auto attacks. Um, again, I, I'm just dying. I don't know what the fuck I'm dying by. Uh, I think she has heal. She, I think she still has heal. I don't know how to fucking look at that shit. Uh, what is it? The blue team. Red team. We're red team. Uh, she does have heal. Yeah, so she did have heal. Just, um, I don't know. I guess didn't, uh, there's no excuse. I, I, the, that's the number one mistake I see from ADCs is they are incapable of healing when their teammates about to die. And I just don't get it. So this is the usual bot lane's awful. We're running mid lane to farm up. We're kind of, kind of tricked are here like oh what's what's he doing what's this alistair doing right like it's, we're always trying to just convince the enemy team they have no fucking idea what's going on we have warwick in the bush here i don't think we have vision of that bush but we also have we also have rangar it probably coming right he's definitely paying attention rangar's on his way a hundred percent to come help us okay no he's just chilling he's just hanging out okay never mind we false alarm all right alistair get put in the dirt um, so I, I can use these new controls instead. I can go boom, boom. Look at that. Way nicer, okay? So we got we got Rango in the jungle. Okay, getting away. Warwick was having a little battle with him. Um, we're running back mid lane. We're going to try to farm up. We're going to try to hit level three here, okay? So we get more CC on her. We get, I think we might have stole a little bit of gold there from one of the caster minions. Um, maybe we can go bot lane. Looks like Ezreal's AFK. <laughs> I'm looking at my mini map here. It looks like Ezreal is... Uh, <laughs> we're getting more cc we're trying to set up ari for a kill here so what we do is i think we probably have ignite and we're we're, we're trying to get her low enough that i can one shot her um okay I, i'm still trying to get i'm saying ari don't leave yet i want to get that kill it looks like nothing's probably gonna happen here um let's keep going let's see what happens here ezra ezra is back i can see ezra is pathing back the lane i don't know what she was doing Kate picks up the solo kill on Senna. <laughs> I think I got peaked by that. I can see the pings. I think I got peaked by that a little bit. 
Uh, I'm probably going in mid to get gold or maybe to gank of Vlad. Do I get peaked again here? I don't see... How are they seeing me? It's not showing up on my screen. Okay, we're going to get CC on Vlad here. Hopefully, he might try to do the combo. Yeah, so a lot of Vlad's... It was really weird. Uh, uh, just maybe even a month ago on some of my previous accounts, every single Vlad would always pull my combo. I'm talking 100%. I'm talking I stopped even comboing Vlad's because it was 100%. And then randomly over the past couple weeks, no Vlads do it. It's like 5% of the time they, they, they pull my combo. They just don't do it. Like, look at all this damage and gold I'm getting off this. Jax walking up. I don't know what the what he's going to do. I mean, Jack, you're going to see Jax this game. Pretty interesting player, this Jax. Um, yeah, not the, uh, maybe not, the, let me, let me, uh, you know, foreshadow. Maybe not the best. Okay, let's see what goes on here. Probably just going back to base, picking up some gold. Maybe I have enough for uh, mobility. We'll see if I pick up mobility here. Um, oh, yeah. Can I just fucking tap that shit? Okay, we do pick up mobility. So, yeah, you can always kind of tell what I'm... I'm always either going back for mobility or spell thief. Uh, it looks like we got a little bit of a skirmish. Echo getting away. Rangar pinging like 70,000 times that Vlad's there. I don't think anyone cares. Okay. What about this? Looks like we might have a ganks on a bot lane, or do I want to go for Warwick? It's pretty close. I'm going for the Warwick. I hit him back into the pit. He takes a little bit of damage, and I pick up the birds, okay? So we're trying to set up a fight here. I see I have Echo. I see that I have Rangar coming in, okay? We have a really good fight here. We're waiting for all my abilities to come back up. Do you see this? Okay, we get the W on the Warwick. We're coming back. I'm saying, team, I need a little bit of help here. Do you see this? Do you see help? He, he, he actually pulls it off. We tanked like eight turret shots. Now Echo and Rangar are way out of position. We got Echo Alton back. We got Rangar CC. Rangar, you gotta get out of there. I mean, that was a battle, but hey, I I'm gonna take it. You know, I, I got I got freaking assist there on um whoever the fuck we killed, and I'm gonna say that's 100% worth it. What a battle, man! Right in their freaking shiz. All right, we're gonna fly back into action. We're probably going for Vlad here. Vlad is a very hard champion to get your relentless hunter stack on. Vlad, Pike, these champions who are, who can really, really evade your attacks. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if he pulls right off the bat. Okay, he pulls right off the bat, which is what we want, okay? Then we get the WQ. We can see Jax really following up. Jax playing out of his mind good. Just kidding. He actually is just doing nothing. I got a flash out of Vladimir by myself. And I think I'm trying to take his farm now because... Okay, I think I want to take his farm, but I can't farm because Alistair sucks at farming. Uh, but you can see why, uh, you just don't know why these people troll. We, that was a free kill on Vlad. I got the flash, got the combo, and Jax just trolled. Um, I think we're trying to pick up level 5, and then we'll probably get out of here. Okay, we get combo, we get more gold, and we're probably picking up level 5 on this minion. No, we still don't have it. I think... What? Vladimir all just... Just alt. He didn't do a single ability other than alt. We're going for a gank mid lane against Ari. This is a nice setup right here. So we're behind the Ari. We have to dodge the charm. So that's a big interaction. So she's just dead. She has Rangar alt. She has Echo. She got the Alistair Q. Okay. This is big. Ari is probably one of our hardest counters because all she has to do is hold her charm until my combo starts. And if she charms an Alistair combo, my W gets canceled. If I did WQ, like, very quickly, she cancels both, okay? Her charm completely counters. See, a lot of other champions, I think I'm okay here. He ults the wrong person. We're and I, he just one-shots me anyway. Makes no sense whatsoever. That champion makes no sense. We have a 1v1 going on here. This is a 1v1 situation. Echo without mana, but he does have Ignite. He gets another auto attack off. He puts Warwick in the ground. That's what we like to see. Um, But again, Ari, very weird interaction. Not like a Lux, not like a Senna. Not like a Zoe. So these other champions who have these roots, um, I guess, or is it a charm, but CC, I'll say. All these other champions who have CC, Alistair can still complete his combo, even if he gets hit by it. If he's in the motion, he finishes it. Ari cancels the motion. It's a big counter. Okay, we got Alistair running in. We got Rangar 1v2. We got Alistair flashing in, WQ and the Ezreal. Ezreal, another very hard champion to kill. Just like a Pike, just like a Vlad, has so much evade. It is really hard to kill these champions. To get stacks on them with Relentless Hunter is a really big fucking deal. And I liked it with Relentless Hunters just once. All I have to do is get Ezreal once. All I have to do is get the Vlad once. And I get that stack for the rest of the game. I wouldn't see. I wouldn't be surprised to see that nerfed a little bit. So we're waiting for them here. I think I was waiting to see if they're going to the jungle. 
since they're going back to tower, I'm not going to be able to dive this. Like, if they would have came up, or if Senna walks up now, I will be able to catch them a little bit out of position. I think that's what I'm waiting for. Okay, we got a double kill top. Don't really care. So, Senna completely out of position. This is what we were waiting for. Behind them, boom, pick up the free kill. Uh, decent job to Kate. I would have all obviously liked to pick up the kill there. But a pretty good skirmish so far. I mean, 9, 8 at 12 minutes. This is a really standard game for us. Um... But yeah, I mean, this this is great. I, I wish I would have a little bit more kills here. I, I do end up getting a decent amount of damage out in this game. We get the CC against Ezreal. Here comes Kate. She's coming in. We got the ultimate. We got the full combination off. And everyone just doing really well. Warwick going for the Kate just destroys her. I'm saying, Kate, sorry, dude. I'm the fuck out of there. Warwick with, with 894 movement speed. I don't know how he could possibly ever catch up to me. I, I literally have... Okay, so we got him off there. It does make... Oh shit, is he gonna go for it? Is he gonna go for it? Is the Warwick gonna go for it? He flash fears me, one shot bites me, and I actually consider this a win for me. Anytime that you need flash, anytime you need an extra ability to take down Gibson 8686 is fine with me. I'm okay. You didn't have flash there, I'm fine. And that's all that matters. So I'm seeing that we have gank possibility bot lane. Echo sees it too, surprisingly, because Echo's just like Jax, pretty interesting in this game. Uh, we're going to be running straight through the pink ward. Don't give a shit. We are going to be getting a double kill here. You see Flash in the mastery, okay? We got Seta doing her thing that does absolutely nothing. We still see you. Okay, we get the W. We're going for the double here. So Ezreal already dead. What the hell happened to Ezreal? Kate picks up the solo kill on Ezreal before we even get there. Easy game so far, okay? So let's go mid. Uh, Ari's overextending. We're going to see if we can get a solo kill under tower. Let's see what happens here. Her, the minions were low. She does slow me. We get the W off. When's she going to charm? We get the Q. She's going to let us finish the E? Ari letting us get the full combo down. We dodge half the, the Q. Let's go see what uh, Rengar's up to. No, the, the chase cancels. Okay, so we're just farming up a little bit here. Solid, solid game so far. Let's see what we can accomplish. We're probably just trying to hit level 8. And I see some action down bot. I definitely want to get down there or top lane and pick up Vlad again. Dude, we're farming up fucking hard right now. We literally are just the new mid laner, it would appear. We're, this is it. We're just farming up against Ari. Um, she is like really like harassing me. Like I'm actually really fucking tilted at this point. I can feel the tilt even just watching the replay that I want to just engage on this champion. She just keeps smacking me. She's going to die. I'm telling you right now, you're going to die here in about a second. We get the WQ. We have the ultimate. We get the combo off. We got Echo coming in. Go for the one shot. He has the ignite and he's going to get charmed and he's going to kind of walk around a little bit. Okay, flashes in, he gets the Q, he gets the auto attack. Great job, Echo. Really, really good trade there. That's what we like to see. Really good job. We got Rangar sitting in the bush. Um, Rangar sitting in that bush. Uh, you can see my pings on the map. <laughs> I'm pinging him, I'm saying, Rangar, um, what's going on here, buddy? He goes in with the ultimate on Senna. He's really smacking her up. He does pick up the kill. Looks like he's going to give double buff to Ezreal, though. Really good dodges, and then he just gets... <laughs> That's my ping stick. <laughs> he just gets put in the fucking dirt. Uh, we got Kate coming in for the Ezreal. I'm pinging Ezreal. Or, uh, Kate, I'm coming in. Let's take this Ezreal down. We want the double buff. Here comes Alistair. We're waiting for her to phase shift. We get the combination. We're going for it. We got the E. Later, we take the double buff before Ez or Kate's alt lands. Of course, obviously, the fucking carry needs the stats. Okay? We see Vlad... Or do we go for mid, mid tower gold? I think we're going for the gold mid. Okay, we're going to get a cut. Oh no, we see a fight. We say screw top, screw mid. I see a fight that is possible. What's up, Warwick? Coming in to say hi, buddy. Bo oh shit, we lost We lost track of the camera. Okay, Warwick going in. Jax going in. We have a 3v2 situation. I see Jax is a... <laughs> I see Jax is in bad shape. I get the fuck out of there. I hit the R into the I get a double Q. Echo gets a double ult. I flash in for an auto attack because I'm a nut job. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm getting the hell out of there with my double buff. Everyone died. Warwick's coming in. He's fucking hungry, dude. We got... Okay, his abilities don't make any sense whatsoever. He, I literally queued him. It just goes through my Q. He gets a double. Rangar sitting there smacking him like a fucking Cheeto. And he actually picks up the kill. I don't know where that came from. He picks up the kill. It's just, I wish they would just get rid of Warwick as a champion. His abilities don't make sense. He just fears anything that you try to do. Warwick is another hard counter to Ali, just like Ari. No matter if I try to Q, if I W, it just cancels it. 
and that doesn't make any sense because at least R you can outplay. R you can outplay a charm. Everyone should have an outplay. We got Rangar going in against the level nine. That's <laughs> just getting mad. I didn't even want to watch that. I might remove that. That was a massacre. But like R you can outplay her charm. Warwick just fears your ability. It, there's, it just does it. There's no, you can't dodge it. Okay, we're just saying Senna, I can just solo kill you at any point in the game. <laughs> Look at Senna's HP already. Okay, we're saying Senna, just like, just watch yourself around me, okay, buddy? Okay, come on, W. Where's my W? We get the W. We get the Q. I'm, I'm pretty much saying, or my E, Senna, you can be 1v4 with your team under tower, and I'll kill you, okay? You're wondering why I said, so why is Senna such an easy champion? You see why. At least Soraka heals people, okay? At least Soraka buffs her team. Senna's a little piece of fucking loose leaf paper that I can just stem stomp on on the ground. She's nothing. She's absolutely nothing. She's the easiest champion. I don't know what her abilities do. I still don't. But I stomp her. She's so weak. We got Alistair running in here trying to dodge some Ez I'm a level higher than Ezreal. <laughs> if I get hit by another Q here, I know I'm inting. I'm fucking tilted already. Okay, we got we, we see the ult on Ari. I, I don't know. I'm just rooted again. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, we have to engage here. I think I feel like we have a big engage coming up here. We we're, we kind of saw that they're getting fucked up front line, so we did not go behind. We're gonna try to defend Echo a little bit here. Warwick strong. We're saying maybe we can just go and get out of here. I I got the Ohm wreck. I'm out of here. Later, Ari. Sorry, I'm just busy right now. We got Senna trying to alt me. Senna, do not even use any abilities on me. We're actually getting slowed here by the Ari. Are we gonna be able to dodge this? Are we gonna be able to dodge this? We WQ. We go for the turn. We get the ignite. We finish the E. Oh my gosh. He says, Ari, who you chasing, bro? Now I got Vlad on my shit and I tried to ult. I don't know why I tried to ult that because I just can't give up. I have to just fight. Like, oh, oh, Vlad's coming at me. I got 15 HP. Well, if I ult, I can take two auto attacks instead of one. Like, I'll take this dude down. <laughs> okay, huge skirmish. We got Jack still split pushing. I don't think he's done anything in the game in the past 15 minutes. Um, Echo just really weak. Um, and Rangar just kind of AFK. He does do, he does have impact when he's there. And pretty much Kate being the only person who's doing anything on our team, um, which is a big turnaround because she didn't hurl. Do you see this over the wall double W into a, a double man Q into almost killing Senna again? Look at that W damage. We almost get the auto attack off there. You guys gotta understand, I am 1v5. Look at my team, okay? Do you see where my team is? 1v5 Alistair, Jax, how many more minions can I kill? Rangar, uh, I'm gonna ult and run around mid lane with not even, I can't even fit an enemy player. Look at this. I can fit the health bar of a fucking enemy player in my screen when Rangar is alted. And then Kate, understandably for Kate, being the ADC, she can't really wander around. Untrue for Rangar, Jax, and Echo. They can literally go wherever they please and they're deciding not to. Bad teammates. Bad. Very bad. Except I'll give Kate the pass. Okay. We can literally almost kill Senna 1v5 under tower. We're absolutely filled. That W over the wall. Okay, we've got to fight and break it out here in the jungle. We see Warwick alt and he can 1v5. We got Kate going down. We got Echo uh, picking up his shield. Rangar running for the fucking hills. Senna ulting. I don't think her ult actually does anything. And it looks like they're probably going to pick up a free drag here. Rangar getting some slows. Senna getting the flash root. I don't think anyone knows what that does. Rangar going down. Echo running for his fucking life from this. Warwick, look at this movement speed. Nerf this shit. Do you see what I'm watching here? Echo ults backwards. He still has 894 movement speed. Alistair says, fuck all that. I'm just farming mid. I'm going to get strong. I don't get... I think at this point, I'm just like, it's just me. It's just me and Kate in this game. So I got to farm up. I got to get strong. I hit level 11 here. Okay, I see them coming. I don't care. I'm picking up... I, I tried to pick up the cannon minion. I missed it. Flash in the mastery. I'm saying, hey, Vlad. I might come check out what you're over, what you're up to over here. Third on the pink board, we're saying, um, I'm just running wherever I please at this point. Like, I'm just going wherever. I'm just chilling. I'm pretty much waiting to set up a flank here. I think Warwick might know that I'm here. We got, we're flanking behind the Senna. We're saying, Senna, I will literally destroy you. Look at this damage. We got the, the Kate alt coming down. One more W. We flash to the, try to finish the combo. We get the W ignite off. We pick up the Senna. She is somehow not died. What is this? She somehow doesn't die. She has 30 HP 
when I flat when I flash W ignite and she just doesn't die somehow. I think it might have glitched a little bit. Uh, Warwick just stepping on a trap gets almost one shot by Kate. Uh, Rango Rango running towards the bushes and then Echo not doing anything. Jax absolutely no impact in the game. I mean, what a freaking game. Let's see if any skirmishes break out. Probably not without me there. I'm going to say everyone's just kind of wandering around. Uh, Alistair coming back in. We got Kate. Be careful around Ari. She can alt charm you, okay? So we're going to kind of just wander around here. Get some vision now. We got Warwick fucking with our... No one fucks with our pink ward, dude. I will die for a pink ward. I will die for a pink ward. You think I'm trolling? I just can't give anything up. I don't care what objective it is. I will not give a pink ward up. That shit is my livelihood, dude. Alistair tanking nine champions. We actually get the Warwick by tanking everyone else in the fight. And it's a one for one that's worth. Me for Warwick at this point in the game is worth. Rangar almost one shot center from halfway across the map. Echo flashes in. Dies before he can ult. And it's a two for two. We got Jax. Picks up the tower. He looks like he's going for the inhibitor, but he sees the enemies are coming for him. So he does he does run away, but he does get the inhibitor tower. Still no impact. You're you're ahead of your opponent, team fight. You're ahead of your opponent, team fight. If you team fight, we ace, we get Baron, and we end the game, okay? Whew. Really, really big skirmish there. Trading us for Warwick's huge. And then um almost one shot in center. That honestly probably should have been a 4 0 ace right there. Uh, because we almost one shot Senna, and then we actually uh Everyone would have been alive still if he would have got that one shot off. But let's see what happens here. We got just probably running around, getting some wards down, um, dodging some skill shots, obviously. We got Warwick towards the Baron. He's a little bit out of position. We might be able to do something here. Again, I'm trying to hit level 12. Anytime you see me mid, I'm trying to get a level. Okay, or farming minions. Uh, so we're going to just get some wards down. We're definitely going to ward their blue real quick. And then I'm probably going to set up the triangle, the full triangle. So, so the full triangle, I'll show you in a sec. Oh, oh, disrespect. I'm saying I don't need you, Warwick. I walk past the fucking Warwick. I all into four. I'm saying let's fucking go, baby. Me and Kate versus the whole squad. Look at this shit. We got Kate getting one shot. We get Alistair going down. And where is my team? Let's play the game. Where is Alistair's team? Kate and Alistair, 1v9. Let's see what everyone's up to. Echo is running towards top lane to farm. Rangar is literally in a bush, not even in a bush. He is not within a screen of an opponent. Let's see how far we have to go. I would say that's almost two screens, maybe a screen and a half away. And Jax is farming. Wow, really, really big impact from our squad here. Truly impressive. Really great job from everyone. I mean, this is just immaculate to watch really exciting stuff i mean i'm just having a blast okay so let's see what happens here Jax. uh Jax, yeah you're one v <laughs> like usually that's what happens if you um you know split push the whole game and then two of your opponents die because you're not anywhere to be found and then you still continue to split push when you're in a 3v5 circumstance you're gonna be outnumbered that's usually what happens okay so they're probably gonna go for baron rangar running in for the one shot uh, to actually get CC'd away, I forgot Rangar has the ability, it's really cool. Uh, Echo alting a dodgeable ability, okay. Interesting. So Alistair running it down, you know I'm not taking any shit. I'm fucking smacking people up. Let's try to get that, Ezreal. We get the WQ, we get the ult from Caitlyn. Caitlyn's actually doing really good this game. I love Caitlyn's ult. She's ulting every single person I engage, and I love it because it sets me up to be able to kill them. We are ulting into three. We got Echo. <laughs> Imagine playing like an assassin engage AP mid laner Echo and playing like a fucking bitch. Imagine that for two seconds. Imagine playing this crazy engage. All your abilities are geared towards engage and surviving this, these engages, your ultimate. And imagine playing like a fucking squirrel. Seriously, I don't get it, man. Don't play Echo. Play Lux so you can sit back as far as you're sitting and still do damage, okay? So they're going for the Baron. I don't know about this. The HP's going down. Is this... Did we really get a free Baron this game? See, I don't remember this shit. This was a while ago. They give us a free Baron. What the fuck is going on? How the hell did that happen? You see Alistair with the Baron mid. We're kind of taunting them a little bit. Uh, we're just running around saying, Hey, what's up, motherfuckers? I'm just, like, out of my mind this game. Why the fuck am I here? Why am I... <laughs> Why? I am with my Baron buff just in their jungle. My team actually is... It's like for good reason. At base, they just went base with the Baron. 
and I go back to the same place. I can tell that I'm just... I, this might be the game ending fight. Is this it? I'm behind the enemy team with Baron. This might be it. We own wreck the tower. We go for the Ezreal. Look at this. We wait for her phase shift. A Ezreal goes down at the very beginning of the fight. This has to be it. E Echo dies with all up. And then Warwick gets his ultimate off. I wonder. It's like we don't have a fifth member. It's like something's... It's like we're missing. Hold on a second. Caitlyn was there. Rangar was there. Me and Echo went in. It's almost like... It's almost like we... It's almost like we're in a 4v5 game. It's almost like we're in a 4v5. Look at Jax missing the team fight and still hasn't even made it to the inhibitor yet. Okay? You don't have to think you're fucking trick 2G split push gates, okay? You could just be bad and you could try to work on your play, Jax. You're not doing anything. You missed the team fight and Vladimir's still meeting you at the inhibitor. Okay? You're not enacting any sort of advantage. I'm thinking when you have a Baron, I'm thinking maybe team fight because you have a bunch of buffed up stats and minions, dude. Okay, we pick up the inhibitor. We actually got a little skirmish going down here. I just cannot fathom watching this Jax. He does go down. Him, did Rangar die too? Rangar died too. They both died getting the inhibitor. I mean, I guess that's worth, I mean, Kate's picking up a red here. I don't know. I mean, two people losing Baron buff. We do get the inhibitor, but if we would have just team fought, we just win the game. The game's just over. Warwick might go for an insane engage here. He does have dead mans and he does have ultimate up. Okay. So Alistair, I'm saying this is a 1v9. I run top. I'm probably trying to pick up level 13, maybe even level 14. Because <clears throat> I just know that my team is so bad. Like this Echo Jax, like at least Rangar is powerful. When he does engage, he's going to do something. Echo and Jax are weak as shit and they're not doing anything. So I'm at this point, I'm like, I got to hit level 14. I got to be able to 1v9. You know, and I, I rarely... I, I, I rarely go off to the, the side and farm like this, but like, this is a game where we do actually have a chance. Okay, okay they're going in without me. Uh, they are like very hurt. I don't know what the hell they're doing. I mean, Jax obviously isn't there, so it's a 3v5, and Vladimir flash alts in. That's going to be 3 dead. That is, there's no way they survive this. That is going to be 100% 3 dead. So, here's the problem. You have a team that doesn't engage when you engage i did hit level 14 but then they go huh we know Jax is afk alistair's usually are engaged and now he's top lane now it's time to fight you chose 3v5 to fight like you three are fucking up really big this game it's 30 to 26 like i i almost 100 percent think that this game is lost I, i'm i'm paying the jacks jacks they're gonna end the game my, like, look at this. I'm 1v9 defending this tower. I'm trying to pull them away from the tower. I'm not inting. I'm trying to say, come focus me. Please do not kill our tower. Jax does not care that they're literally going to end the game. The respawn timers are long. Okay, Kate just came back. They're going to get an inhibitor. I'm literally doing my best to... F okay, we actually get the kill on Senna. We they do pick up the inhibitor, but that was a sick Kate all in the combo on Senna. Let's see how much impact Jax having. Like, what is this? He, Jax just let them have an inhibitor. He could have easily based. He ran bot, let them have an inhibitor to die. So he literally gave them gold. Okay, Rangar going in. I kind of wanted to see that engage. Um, he gave them an inhibitor and gave them gold. That is trolling. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm trying to win the game. Jax, you gave them gold and gave them an inhibitor. You're helping the enemy team. And it was deliberate. That wasn't a miscalculation. They 100% get the inhibitor when you're not there to help me. Okay? Like, this is just disgusting. This is so bad. I, I get some wards. I'm trying to set up fights here. Look at the triangle. Look at the fucking triangles I set up. I'm always trying to find an angle. Flash in the mastery. Let's go, Rango. Let's see if anything's going on, okay? Is there any fucking water yet? Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta slow this down a little bit. We got Senna walking aimlessly into the jungle. I'm saying, bring it on, baby. I'll tank the whole squad. We pick up the Senna. I don't know where... Oh, my gosh. Everything is too fast. I must have dis-fucking-connected. I disconnect from the game. We pick up the kill on... Who the fuck was that? We get Vladimir, okay? We pick up Vladimir. We pick up Senna. I disconnected from the game. I don't know what happened, okay? So let's see what happens here. It looks like we're going to be making our way back down mid. We are going to immediately engage when we get here, okay? We're going to speed it up a little bit. I'm probably pinging. Let's go. I'm pinging my arrows. I see my arrows. Where's Alistair? 
coming in here, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We get the flash W Q double Q on two of their carries. We're auto and Ezra. We're saying, let's fucking go, baby. We'll take down the whole fucking squad. Look at this engage from Alistair. I'm doing everything. I'm engaging. I'm tanking. I'm CCing. Look at my CC. I'm setting everyone up. Absolute insane engage from Alistair. I don't know what Jax is doing. Okay, he tries to hold in the four. He actually does pick one up. I am so fucking tanky. We're going to pick up Warwick for my engage there. Echo just runs in with one HP. I mean, some of these plays. What the? What is going on here? Kate going in for the 1v9. Kate, you got to get out of there. That's a Vladimir. I was real. I had anxiety at this point. I was like, Kate, that Vlad will one shot you. Just be a little bit careful there, okay? Let's see if this kid gets caught. Oh, it's so close. He does Hextech into a... a, a <laughs> Vladimir, what are you doing, dude? Vladimir gets one shot. I don't know what the fuck that was. Holy shit. Jax is like... I, he doesn't even know what's going on. Jax, hello. Okay, they almost died. That was uh, interesting. Okay, wow. What a game so far. Seriously. I mean, we 42-33 and we just took an inhibitor. Like, what the hell is going on? Alistair just setting up the most insane engages ever. Let's see this... I disconnect again from the game. It looks like I'm getting DDoSed or something. Baron's up. I hope I don't miss too much. It looks like I don't miss anything at all. It looks They're just giving us free Baron. I don't even have to look at... Okay, we actually do have to look. Warwick just showed up. No, that's going to be a free... There's no way he stops this. It's going to be... It, this is it. Uh, Warwick's here. We pick up a free Baron. We're going to uh, resume in on Alistair here. I mean, this is... Look at this beast mode, dude. We're rolling in. I'm rolling up in their shit. I'm saying, yo, this is my shit. Get out of here. I'm ending this game, Warwick. I will beastify you. I send Warwick into my team. I ignite him. I'm saying, this is it, bro. This is the fall. And then Vladimir Olsen, and that changes everything. We got a big skirmish here. I don't even know who to watch. I'm 1v9. Uh, they're all dying, even though I'm fighting three of their carries. My whole team is dying. We pick up one. Rangar might pick up two here. He, he might pick up two, but it looks like he might go down. I, I was fighting Ari, Kate... I was fighting Ari, Ez, and Senna. I was fighting the three three of their damage dealers. And just just Vlad and Warwick were able to kill the other two 2v, 2v4. That was a 2v4 situation. It's you just like sucks, man. It just sucks. Why? Why is that how it is? That was a 2v4. And Warwick. Warwick and freaking. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. We gotta. Uh, what the fuck? Rangar going in for a one shot there and just gets gets one shot himself. Um, you gotta watch out for that dude. He'll just go in at any second. So he went in for a one shot, gets one shot himself. It just sucks, man. I can I can one v three their carries, and then they can two v four and still win. We got Senna doing that ghost shit for no. How does that have that much range, dude? It's insane. I mean, this is it. This looks like it's the game. There's no way it could go any other way. I'm running into their entire enemy team. It looks like... Okay, uh, Skirmish looks like it might break out mid lane. I gotta be careful here. Okay, we're gonna try our best to slow this down. This looks like it's it. I almost feel it. Okay, I'm getting the engage on the Vladimir. Vladimir is their carry. We get the full combo on Vladimir. I'm, I'm kiting my E. I'm running around. I'm saying, okay, I need to land this E. If he doesn't pull my E, he loses the game. He pulls. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, we have a lot about to go on. We got Warwick running towards our ADC. We have Ezreal ulting towards our ADC. We have Warwick completing the ultimate on the ADC. I get charmed by Ari. I get charmed by Ari. There's a lot going on here. We got Warwick 1v3 situation. I'm running towards three of their carries. I'm going to try to focus on everything going on here. We got Warwick getting knocked up. I'm Wing the Warwick back into my team while I'm acting as a barrier to the other three carries on their team. Do you see how I have this fight set up? I hit Warwick back into my team while I am tanking these three champions. Senna ults. I'm going to speed up to 0.5. We got Alistair still going in. I'm ulted. I'm very tanky. I get charmed twice in the same fight. Vladimir goes in, completely fucking ints his combination. Ari starts to run away. Senna's sitting there with Guardian. Senna, you better get the fuck out of there. This Alistair is angry. It looks like Alistair's looking to go back around the other way. What a fight right there. Alistair going in. It looks like I'm trying to heal up. I do have war mugs, I believe. I'm pretty sure I have war mugs. <clears throat> okay. So we're trying to we're trying to heal up a little bit. We're trying to set up another fight here. I, I see the, the three right there. If I can set up a fight here, we win the game. If I can set up a fight, the game is over. Okay, I'm running in. I'm getting my movement speed from around the towers. Okay. It looks like we might be able to set up a WQ. 
Okay, we, we see them in the shield. We get charmed a third time. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. We're gonna see if we can get a little engage here. We actually took a lot of damage here. I can't do much. I gotta heal up a little bit. I got war mogs. I'm okay. <clears throat> they keep sniping me with shit. It keeps ruining my healing. Um, so it looks like we're really pressuring the towers here. We get the flash! W onto the Ez and then Q the Senna. That was fucking awful. That was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm getting really damaged here. I get charm. There's no way I make it out of that one. My team does kill the Omerick Tower. Okay, I'm going to keep it a little bit slow here so I can I keep focused. Okay, Jax flashes onto the Ari next to the fountain. They don't pick it up, but he does buy enough time for us to get the, the other tower. And they're damaging that inhibitor. That has to be dead. That has to be next. We still won the game down 11 kills. We were only up 1,000 in gold after all that. <clears throat> like, this is it. This is League of Legends right here, okay? My top lane, complete. And you can say, oh, uh, you're probably just saying that he's complete, whatever. I'll show you. I'll literally show you right here. Watch this, okay? Look at this. This is the game right here, two days ago. This is Alistair. 26,000 damage from Alistair. That is a fucking lot. Okay, let me just tell you real quick. That's a lot. <clears throat> okay, obviously their Ezreal was awful. You should never... Ezreal is, Ezreal is one of the champions who low-key will just do the most damage every game. Because they get to just poke, 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 poke. They don't need like a hard engage. Uh, so obviously Ezreal is awful. Echo pulling out the 22k damage. 4k less than his fucking support. Ari doing 7k damage more than uh, Echo. And I would say that's even unfair because Ari is more of a single target champion. I would say I would say Echo ulting and doing Hextech and all those combinations are more AoE than Ari's Q, which is only going to maybe hit two people a couple times. <clears throat> so I would say Echo has more of a chance of dealing AoE than Ari, and he still gets out damage by 7,000 damage. Pathetic. Um, Borwick, 33 to 27. The huge discrepancy. I mean, look at this. Look at this. 18 and, seven, and 15. He has... He has fucking 33 kill per Wait, is that right? 33 kill participation. 33 kill participation to 12. Are you joking me? 33 kill participation to 12? He out damaged you by 6,000 damage. And I guarantee if this showed damage uh, taken, he, he took probably four times as much damage as you. Pathetic. Pathetic. Okay. What about top lane? Let's see. Nine kill participation. How do you even get nine kill participation in this game? There was almost, there was like 80 or 90 kills. Nine kill participation, he has 15,000 damage. Jax, you got 11,000 damage dealt less than an own wrecker Alistair. Oh, but I was split pushing. Were you really? You were split pushing because you did, you got 30 less farm than your opponent who in turn got four more kill participation than you and dealt 12,000 more damage than you. So you don't look like much of a split pusher either because you're getting beaten at, thing, at the thing you're doing. Okay, obviously the discrepancy is Kate. She did very well. She did 20,000 more damage than her opponent. And I feel like I still did well to... to I, I didn't necessarily peel for her. I did more of... I was a buffer for her. You saw in that one team fight. I was a shield between Warwick fighting all three of my champions and the three damage dealers. If they make it past me, Kate gets one shot. But I was acting as a buffer more than peeling. So really good game. I'm excited. I, again, I have a couple other games in Quay that are excellent. I can't wait till we get in the preseason. I'm going to be doing all sorts of fucking crazy builds. And I'm telling you right now, I'm taking this next season seriously and I will be challenger. I repeat, I will be challenger in this next season. Stay tuned to watch me fucking climb. I'm out of here.